Welcome back to the channel guys. We're on a very busy road <clears throat> near South Cerny. And we are just approaching the Duke of Gloucester Regiment's Barracks. So recently we had a rather good interaction with a guy at Dalton Barracks. Please check out that video. Leave your comments. Very, very busy road today. Uh, but today we're going to see if we get the same sort of good reaction. So, a little start by looking at the signpost, which is the Duke of Gloucester Barracks, 29 Regiment, Royal Logistics Corps. And it's the headquarters of the 104 Theatre Sustainment Brigade, which is uh, one I've never heard of. So we're just going to have a little walk across here for a second. So there's a massive, big, uh, a big field where it looks like they've had some sort of. Um, steam fair or rally something like that there's gazebos at the back end some old vehicles bit of a fun fair so as you can see the fence line is uh, a little bit away from this publicly accessible area there is a sign down here which basically says that the airfield out of bounds, flying operations in progress. Well, I don't think they probably are when you think that you've got the, the fun fair and everything going on. But um, we won't go much further than this for now because I'm not here for the field, I'm here for the barracks. So uh, I will just pick it up in a second. So I'm just waiting on a guy on a push bike. I've parked some way down the road, but I recognise him. I don't know if he recognises me. I'm just waiting to see what he's up to because uh, if he's going in, that's fine. If he's here to, yeah, I don't know if I took any, if he took any details of the car. So I'm just going to hang on little while and I'll pick it up when he's disappeared. So the guy on the push bike's gone in. I'm going to apologise if the wind's a bit iffy today. Um, it's very blowy here as is always with a uh, airfield of course. So we've got visitors parking and pass holders. All vehicles approach gates on side lights only. So we're just having a walk down now towards the gate. Got a couple of ornate lamp posts just on the entrance way. I don't know if there's anything in them, whether they're actually working today. Yep, there's a light in the top of those. So it's a 20 mile hour limit coming into the barracks. All ID cards must be shown. So we've got our conditions of entry here. So basically, let me stand back a bit so I can get it all in. Conditions of entry to a prohibited place as defined under the Official Secrets Act. So entry to the establishment is subject to search of baggage, search of vehicles, the most direct route, leaving the barracks immediately after the purpose of the visit is concluded. So that's interesting. So on the bottom of this sign here it says all identity cards are to be produced, authorised, and it says USYO if any of the uh, subscribers know what that is by all means to give us a shout so just here we've got ministry of defense cctv sign images are being recorded for the purpose of security and public safety so we have got a little box here i'm just wondering if they'll uh, come out and speak to me they might do they might not he's looks like he's busy at the moment let me just see what's happening. 
Are you doing you okay? I wonder if you could answer me a question, mate. What's the chances of getting an escorted look at that gun? Ask, ask the fella in there, yeah? No worries, thank you. Hello, mate. I don't want to come in. I'm going to stop just here. What's the chances of getting somebody to just take me to have a look at that gun? Go inside and ask in the guard room. They can might I? be able to help. Yeah, just stay there on the left. Yeah. You can ask them. They might be able to. All right. Sort you out. We'll see. It's just that my viewers love all stuff like this. That'd be great if I could get a closer yeah, look. Yeah, sure. Brilliant. Just in the guard room. Just though. in here. Yeah? yeah. Is this the front door here or on the? Not on the oh, side where it's there. just open. Thank you. So I'll give you a closer look at a couple of other bits in a second. We just got a pop in here apparently. Which window? Hello, young man. Hi. Your friend on the uh, gate has just said to me to come and see you guys in here. That window, it's that window, is it? All right, mate, thank you. If you do some work um, in the regiment building. A little bit of information on the boards here. So. Should only be two minutes. Good morning, sir. Your friend on the gate said if I come in here, you might be able to get somebody to escort me just to have a look at that gun. I just want to take a couple of pickies. Oh, that gun? Yeah. Is that possible? So you are from? I'm just a YouTuber that goes around different places and, and likes to photograph different things for my viewers. If, it, if I can't do it, it's not a problem. I just thought it's always worth an ask. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You never know. <laughs> it's just that viewers love to see stuff they can't get and see yeah. themselves, isn't it? We're lucky to get this far, actually. Normally we've stopped at the gate. <laughs> So you got much on? Nice well, that's a good thing in a way, isn't it? No. no? <laughs> no. And you're an apprentice, are you? Yeah. Yeah, fair play. 
So, so what you learn in painting and decorating, by the way? Plumbing, please. Oh, plumbing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, um, your friend on the gate said that yeah. I might be able to get a little escort just over to that gun to take a couple of pictures and then get out of your air. Oh, so I would probably say no. Okay. Um, just pu purely because it's obviously on MOD property. Of course. Yeah. If you, I can, I can suggest if you go from the um, from outside the camp and take your picture in, then you can. Okay. I'm I'm happy with that because obviously you're on. Um, so I'm smiling because it, it it's, yeah. it's no, yeah it's I know where a, you're coming from. Yeah. So I I would say. I'm happy for you to take a picture from outside the barrier. Okay. I've got no problem right. with that, but obviously not from in here. No worries. Oh, okay. If I don't ask, I don't get, do I? Yeah, no worries, buddy. Thank you for your service, guys. Thanks, Cheers. So there we are, guys. Uh, basically, it's a no-no. I can do what I like from outside the gate. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little wander and everything and uh, I'll do a couple from here try and get a little close up for you and we'll go from there so this is the boundary he's, a, he's actually just to let you know mate hello I said just to let you know he said no oh, okay. but I could do it from the gate <laughs> cheers so it's a bit of a shame because uh, if you have something like that on display it'd be nice for people to see but anyway at least we got into a bit people don't normally get into so uh yeah all very polite and friendly though i've got to say thank you to them for that so what i am going to do though is i am going to have a wander just have a little wander around the outside then because um if they're friendly enough like that it shouldn't be a major problem so what i'm going to do guys i'll kill it there let's go for a wander it looks like quite a long walk and we'll see what we can get and see if anybody else um, has a different attitude i've got to say very professional on their part and i can understand where they're coming from pick it up in a bit And I do love what the Gurkhas have done for hundreds of years, and I really appreciate your service and that of your colleagues. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I've noticed you're the second person I've seen in kit with a beret with a ponytail. Yes, sir. I have they changed the rules on haircuts? No, sir. No. No. You haven't changed the rules, sir. No. And I'd prefer not to comment. I, no, that's fine. That's I just fine. thought I'd ask because I'm sure yeah. somebody, you know, I've got a lot of X forces that watch my channel, yes, and I'm sure they'll comment about ponytails because look at this. This yeah. is a proper haircut. <laughs> no offence. No, no, it's fine, sir. Yeah. So, yeah, no worries. You don't want to give me a lift, then? No, sir, no. No? Can't give you a lift. Go on, health so and safety. Just, that's it, sir. <laughs> so if you can walk back, thank you, sir. No health and safety up in the Nepalese mountains, is there? You watch <laughs> where you're treading, otherwise yeah. you're in trouble. <laughs> no, yes, Smile sir. for me, go on. We can leave us good friends. All right, thank you very much, Go on, sir. thank Enjoy, you for sir. your service, guys. You're welcome. Can I see the steam engines? We can go on the festival. Oh, I'm hoping to, yeah. Right yeah. I was only, I was only, I was only passing through and I saw it, and then I thought, oh, hang on, there's a barrack. So I googled quickly, saw it was an old Air, Air Force camp. I love that old building. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's all hangers, nothing. No? Yeah. Well, obviously you use them for storage, but oh, 
you can't say. All right, sir. Stay safe. Yeah. Cheers. So, not sure why the camera cut out there, guys. I think it might have been the wind affecting the gimbal. Um, so, anyway, I've had me, I've had me orders. Um, if anybody knows, please leave a comment about ponytails because that's the second one I've seen now. Well, whatever happened to short back and sides? <laughs> anyway, uh, gotta say. The Johnny Gurkhas I spoke to, very, very professional, very friendly, smiley. At that point, I suppose I better just say, um, you know, well done, girls. You really showed what you can do when you play as a team and you put everything into what you're doing and play for the full time allowed. They didn't seem to have any energy left towards the end, but by God, didn't they party. So well done to all the girls from the England ladies football team. And of course the manager, what a great job she's done. And we can look forward, hopefully, to um, no offence to any of my uh, followers from other countries, but hopefully we can look forward to a good World Cup. And maybe, just maybe, the men's team might watch that final and think they've showed us up. So you're earning thousands and thousands, now show us, the fans, how you can perform on a pitch. Anyway, um, so there's a steam fair here, South Cerny, over the weekend. This, this video should be up, hopefully by tomorrow, which will be the Wednesday, maybe the Thursday. So if you want to come up and see a steam show, lots of things going on. South Cerny, it's near Sirencester in Gloucestershire. And I'm sure there'll be a website. I'll see if I can find it and put it in the text. And I'm sure it'll be a fantastic weekend. It'll probably cost you an arm and a leg, um, as most things do these days. But hey, it's summer holidays if the kids want something to do. So, anyway, uh, you've been watching Expose and Educate. Trying to bring you some more content. Got a couple of other places on for today that I'm just going to head off to now. Hopefully it won't be so windy. Give us a thumbs up. And we will catch you on the next one. Cheers guys, stay safe. I just had a little thought of course, a lot of you may leave a comment saying that uh, I left a bit easily, but of course if you understand things surrounding the MOD and if it is private land, if they ask you to leave, you've got to go. Um, and sometimes you can push it a little bit and ask a few more questions. But the guy with the ponytail obviously wasn't interested in hearing too much more from me. So, so yeah, I did leave. I don't want to upset them. I've got a lot of respect for the army, as you've probably heard me say in other videos. So, I'm just going to pop back to the gatehouse and tell him, tell him I apologise. I misunderstood what he meant about outside the gate. Didn't didn't realise. He was just thinking from the gate for everything. So I'm just gonna, just gonna apologize to him. And uh, then I'll head on back to my next location. So. so there's another car coming at the moment. Just wait for this car to go and I'll tell him. Just a very quick one, mate. If you could relate to him, I apologise. I misunderstood what he meant from outside, so let him know. Cheers, yeah. Cheers bud. Thank you very much. So just a final point about the sign guys, obviously um, that sign could have been loads out long. I mean, out of bounds, that's one thing. Flying operations in progress, you're not getting anything landing on there. So a little bit misleading, but hey, I suppose if you've got one of those signs that folds, you've just got to put up with it. Expose and educate, catch you on the next one. Cheers.